What's up guys, Chris Ramsey here and welcome back for another tutorial. This time, not gonna be a cardistry move, not gonna be a cut or anything, it's gonna be a color change. And I know you guys like color changes and that type of thing, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd give back to you guys a little bit. All right, so before I get into this tutorial, I just wanna take the, a second to say thank you uh, to all my subscribers, everybody checking in to these tutorials and uh, to these tricks and all my content, and I'm glad you guys really enjoy it. Uh, but you should really head on over to illusionist.com or illusionist's YouTube page. So I'll leave the link below where you guys can check that out for more tutorials, more content, more videos, and a ton more projects going on right now with the Illusionist, including the release of these cards, which are the Madison Ramsey Knights, Daniel Madison and I uh, basically collaborated on a deck which is chess themed. There are a lot of surprises in this deck. It's a really, the deck feels amazing. It handles really well. It's literally my favorite deck, the one that I carry around with me at all times when I wanna perform some magic. So you guys should definitely check that out. Once again, I'll leave the link below. All right, so this tutorial is a really cool visual color change that happens sort of right in front of your face and it's really easy to do, which I'm really happy to teach you guys. I came up with this a few years ago, but not only did I come up with it, a friend of mine, Frankie Morales, came up with a similar handling and it was published in, I wanna say, the end of the world, it's like, I think it was in 2012 when we had that like people thought like the world was ending. They put a collaboration project together, basically a manuscript, the end of the world manuscript or something like that. A lot of flourishes, a lot of tricks, including this uh, color change, which was done from a center double. So thank you, Frankie Morales. If you guys want to learn that, you should check out that manuscript. I believe it was free when they put it out. I'm not sure if it's still available, but there was some really cool content in there, so you should check it out. For this tutorial, there are a few prerequisites that I will go over. You need to know how to control a card, you need to know how to get a double, um, and even a pinky count. So I will briefly run over that, but if you don't know how to do that, figure that out first, because otherwise, the effect, basically, if you do the effect without doing everything else smoothly or very well, you're just gonna dilute the effect and people are gonna start guessing at methods and it ruins the magic for them. So really get that down packed. Um, you can check out a few projects over at Illusionist if you wanna learn all those moves. And if not, stay tuned to the video. Maybe you can pick up a few tips here. And one more thing, guys, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win a half brick that's six unopened and sealed decks of Aurelian's playing cards. Aurelian's playing cards are literally they look like gold. They look like if you were like to go to Fort Knox and ask them for a deck of cards, this is what they would give you. This is designed by my good buddy, Oban Jones, in collaboration with Garrett Clark. They're a very, very exquisite sort of high-end feel, embossed and foiled and all that stuff. Uh, so if you guys wanna stay tuned to the end of the video to find out who you can win a half brick, I will let you know. So watch the tutorial, learn this cool move, plus get a chance to win some cards. It doesn't get any better than that. Let's go. All right guys, so for this tutorial, basically you will need a few prerequisites. I mean, obviously if you just wanna do the color change for a camera, you can go ahead and do that. There's nothing wrong with that or just show it to some magic friends. But if you actually wanna perform this to a spectator, I advise you uh, create a routine around it. And whatever that routine is, make sure the context is right for you. Uh, some of the tools used to create that context uh, will be a control, uh, a pinky break and a pinky count, and then a double lift. So basically that's all you're gonna be using. Uh, there's also a little variation of handling, uh, which was basically like on the Jones change, but I'll get into that in a second. So all you have to do is, if you're, if you're not familiar, you can use a double undercut or a classic pass or any means to control a selection to the top of the deck. So let's say it's that selection. Um, I'm just, for argument's sake, I'll just run over a double undercut. You wanna get a break, a, so the selection is here. You can leave those on top. You wanna get a break right there. Right? That's an exaggerated break, but a break nonetheless. And then basically, as you're talking to the spectator, tell them, okay, we'll cut the deck a few times or whatever, whatever you wanna say, but make sure the context feels right. I'm just literally running over the motions. It's up to you guys to fill in the blanks of why you're doing this. So double undercut basically is you're gonna break off half of that bottom pack and put it to the top and then the other half and put it to the top, as simple as that. And the card is controlled. So one more time, I'm not gonna do this too often, but here you go, there's that card. You wanna keep a break, cut and cut, and now you're good, the card is controlled to the top. So once you're in this position and the card is on the top, uh, you'll need to get a break under that card because you'll need to get a double. Um, and the best way to do that, honestly, is a pinky count. Uh, 
To pick a count basically it just takes finger strength and it takes practice and practice and practice. But once you get it, it's something you'll use all the time. So you're just using literally your pinky and you're pulling down until you release two cards from there. Um, very hard to do if you're just starting off with a pinky count, but if you keep practicing that and just keep riffling down and try to count as many cards as you can till you go all the way down, I mean, that's a good way to practice. Uh, but you wanna get your pinky count down packed. Once you have those two cards, you're gonna take from your right hand, your middle finger and your thumb. Your middle finger is gonna take the top right corner of the card. And your thumb's gonna take the bottom left, just like that. Now you can display it like this, and bending it a little bit helps the illusion that it's only one card, sort of, not too much, but just a little bit. Here's where you're gonna perform something similar to what was used in the Jones change, uh, but not all the way, you're not going through all the motions. So it's just a bit of a convincer, um, but also at the same time it gets you ready for the color change. So your index is going to be right here. You're gonna pull down and around. It's gonna come back up and you're gonna hold it like this, All right? So as you show it here, index around and you hold it like this. Once you're in this position, I'll run over this whole thing from a over the shoulder view for you guys so you guys can see. But once you're here, basically all you're doing is that. Now there's nothing to it. There's literally just that, but um, the illusion's gonna help because you're gonna slap it on the deck, thus leaving you very clean. So let's run over that over the shoulder and give you guys a more in-depth look on how that works. All right, so here we go for an over the shoulder view. Once again, once the card is controlled at the top, so let's say by means of a, of a double undercut, we have a two of hearts here. We got a break. We're gonna cut the bottom half to the top and then the other half there, leaving us with the two of hearts on top. So once that two of hearts on top, you wanna get your, your pinky count. So with your pinky, use pressure and count off two cards. Once those cards are counted off, you can catch your break. Uh, from here, once you caught your break, you can literally pop it off using the thumb and the middle finger. I'm still holding two cards here. Um, but once you're, in, once you're in that break, it just naturally, if your thumb comes here, you, you can literally just pick up two cards like this. Using your right hand, your thumb and middle finger will contact this. Bend the card a little, you can show that to them. They're seeing this. Index right here, rolls it around and then back, okay? It's a very, very simple move as you're showing it, but if you do it a little quick, looks flashy, right? So let's do that in slow-mo again. You're here, you show them the middle finger contacts, goes all the way around. Whoa, I'm not even sure what happened there. So here, just like that. Let's do that in slow-mo. You're here. Index curls all the way in. Hand tilts a bit. Index curls back around. Now you feel, you'll feel it contact right here. And that's what you want. That's the sweet spot right there. Boom. As you're here, you can literally hold it like this. Your index is gonna come on this side and hold it. And your thumb, because all you're doing is this, right? That's literally all you're gonna be doing. So once you're here, and now this is where the deck comes into play. Um, one thing I like to do is like slap it on, because if you just, that's kind of weird. Slapping it on the bigger motion covers the little motion, which is nice. So if you're here and then boom, just like that. Now don't worry about this card flashing, because for the most part, I mean, if it's like that, the index is gonna hide the uh, indice there so you won't flash there and on the bottom I mean you're kind of really well hidden the only time that they might see it is if you do something like that and then see even then your index is kind of hiding that it's best if that's squared up and that'll just take some aim and practice for you guys so you're here show the card boom it's not your card how about now and uh, the cleanup that I use I just kind of do this but literally you can just do this, you know, you can just literally show them the card however you want to. Uh, but it's just a nice sort of visual piece of eye candy that you can that you can show them quickly. 
So there you have it. Um, I don't know what to go over other than that. It's a really simple thing. So once again, work on your pinky count, guys. If you don't know how to pinky count, I don't want to see, I don't want to see this. Ugh, just chaps my ass. I mean, there's other things you can do. You can do a push off. If you do a push off here, um, you know, there's several ways to get into it, but the simplest way is just a pinky count. And then once you're here, bam, right? here boom now it's visually changed and you're clean Woo! so that's about all i got on this uh let's find out how you guys can win a sick prize right now all right guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you for watching this tutorial and being patient with me and thank you for taking the time to learn this properly and not to execute it poorly I really appreciate it. And I also appreciate all the great feedback that you guys give me in the comments. Uh, I read most of it, obviously, sometimes I don't have time to read everything, but I do read most of it and I will respond to a lot of you if you guys have some uh, pertinent questions. That being said, let me know what you thought below. Let me know what you thought of the move and everything else. And remember to win six brand new unopened sealed decks of Aurelian's playing cards by Illusionist. All you have to do go over to Elog11. So Elog is a bi-monthly show that I host over at Illusionist. Uh, basically it's a review show. It's just a random compilation of like videos, magic, and all sorts of stuff. So if you guys wanna win this, head over to Illusionist, subscribe to their channel, like Elog11 and comment below. Comment, what do, what do we comment? Um, comment, comment sent by Chris, there you go. Uh, so go over to Elog11, I'll leave the link here, sent by Chris, comment on that video, like that video, and subscribe to Illusionist and you're automatically entered. I will choose one random winner to take home a half brick of these babies. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. You guys are amazing, and we'll see you next time. Peace.